demons and water. A person that becomes emotionally possessed, whether it is being feelings or emotions, would be the result of, over time, the imaging of themselves within the context of a particular behavior point or a particular fear or a particular judgment that is continuously imaged. The imaging then start building layer by layer in the water the form of the judgment or the knowledge or the feeling or the emotion. And if it is, for instance, a particular fear or a particular rage or a particular form of judgment, say, I hate that person, the person would then image that until it becomes a three-dimensional image in the water. It is completed as form. Now, all that is required is the outside source in imaging to activate the behavior pattern. And then you get to the person you hate and immediately you go into a reaction. The reaction you are going into is the pre-programmed reaction that you have designed into your water and you have energized it in a particular way. And according to that, you will now act out because you want to achieve a particular result that has been part of your imaging process. And in this case, you would be using your back chat or what you will call thinking. With your thinking or your back chat, you would take the image and you will design it with a particular outcome where you are the winner. You have the same imaging situation or the design happening when you are dealing with love, for instance. You are looking for your soulmate or your twin soul. You will image particularly specific what it is you want, how they must look like, uh, how they must talk, how they must dress, how they must move, all of that, and you will place in your preferences completely and through time, through you thinking about it, through you back chatting about it, through you looking at how it is, particularly what you want, you would create a three-dimensional model in your water. You will charge it with the energy necessary where you would, which you would feel mathematically, interestingly enough, that you are now ready for the person. You are ready to find your soulmate. So you'll first design it and then you'll start looking for your soulmate. And then when you find the person that you believe your soulmate, obviously, initially it will look that way. Depends on how well you have designed it. You will be, have a certain level of what you would term happiness or satisfaction. In fact, what you're really only looking at is a demon. You have created a possession. That possession you now call your soulmate or your idea of a soulmate. It's who you are in relationship to your soulmate or your twin soul. But it is not, in fact, your soulmate or twin soul. Point of souls, you better study the destiny material to get a grasp of how you screw with yourself with the soul construct. Here it is purely showing some dimensions of the water imaging process, which is particularly related to the photographs that Emoto took. And to give you some idea of how little is really understood about consciousness and how it functions in this reality. So that con of consciousness you should not get yourself involved with because you will screw yourself. And if you die before you understand what's really going on, your total design as who you are is only physical memory in the water. And what <laughs> remains after death is not anything remotely what you imagine it would be because you as memory die with your last breath
because then the memories and the water are no longer kept in place through the electrical charge that is necessary to keep them there. You are, in fact, completely an organic robot. Study destiny. We will scare you shitless.